G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the update single Salesforce object and script function and I'll show you how it works and how you can use it to update your records inside of your connected Salesforce CRM. So just note that before you can use this function you do have to have completed the Marketing Cloud Connect integration connecting your Marketing Cloud instance to a Salesforce CRM org. I've got a video on how that works and I'll put a link in the description below. So let's start off by having a look at the Salesforce documentation for update single Salesforce object. Once we jump in, it's going to be very, very obvious. It does warn you that you can actually trigger this function on a cloud page. And as soon as you press preview, it is going to run that function on your behalf. So just be warned as you go through and test it today, be careful what data you put in because it will conduct the update function as soon as you press preview on your cloud page. Now that aside, let's keep going down and have a look at the function itself. So as it sounds, it's going to quite simply update a record inside of your Salesforce CRM. It just needs a few ordinals. It needs to know which object we're looking at. It needs to know the ID of the record to update. And of course, the name value pairs of the fields and values to update. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll find an example of how to use this function. As you can see in this example, it's going to update the lead record, updating the, this lead ID to change their email address to be equal to this example email address. Perfect. So let's try it out for ourselves inside of a Marketing Cloud Cloud page. Once we're logged into Marketing Cloud, we can jump into our Cloud pages, go into our collections and make ourselves a brand new testing Cloud page for today by choosing Add Content and add a brand new landing page. Let's call this one SF Update for our test for today. We'll go next and choose a simple blank template and go save. And once our page loads, we can jump in and drag a HTML content block into our cloud page, which we'll use for today's test. Now you can use this function on both emails and cloud pages, but it's much easier to test on using a cloud page than an email. So to start with, let's copy some of the example documentation from the Salesforce documentation page. We'll jump in, let's copy this usage code to start with. This is exactly the format that we need to do our test for today. So I'll copy that code and jump back onto my cloud page and paste it in. Now what we'll do for today is we'll reference the same record as we did for the Salesforce Retrieve object example. We'll jump in and I've got my example here, Rose. Now Rose is a contact, so we're going to jump in and modify Rose's record. What we might do to make it nice and easy, we're going to modify Rose's name from Rose to something else. So to start with, we need to make sure that we've got Rose in the correct information set. Now Rose is a contact, so we have to make sure that in our cloud page we are referencing the contact object for our update. So I'll change lead to contact. Next, we need Rose's contact ID. So I can jump into my Salesforce CRM, go to my URL and copy the contact ID from the URL. Back on my cloud page, I can paste it in to that section there. Next is our name value pair of what to update. So as we said, we're gonna modify Rose's first name to be something else. So we'll jump in, use my Salesforce inspector to make sure I've got the right API field name for the first name value. So I'll jump in and I'll use my Salesforce inspector to show all data. I can jump in and make sure that my first name field is first name with no spaces. There it is there. Copy it, go back to my cloud page and I'll say first name should be changed to, let's change rows to Cam. All right, so we should now have the function once it runs, we'll update the contact object, we'll update the ID of this record to make the first name equal to Cam. So we'll try it out to start with. I've got Rose's record here. I'm gonna press F5 and refresh this screen to make sure we still have the up-to-date information for Rose. And yep, first name still comes through as Rose. Checking my details, yep, it's still Rose. Jump into my cloud page now. Let's go schedule and publish and see what happens. So the blue circle there is processing and complete. So it's completed. I'll jump back into my CRM and let's press F5 to refresh that page. And hopefully Rose is now Cam. Perfect, we successfully changed that contact record's first name. Let's now jump back into our cloud page. Let's try modifying two things at once. Let's change Rose's first name back to Rose. We'll also change the email address. So I'll make sure I get the email address value. I jump into my record and I make sure email address, I've got the correct API name. I jump into my Salesforce inspector and email of course is called email. So I'll copy that name and jump back into my cloud page. Change email to be equal to what? What should we change Rose's email to be? Well, her existing one was rose at edge. 
So let's copy this and we can change it to rows test at edge. Perfect. So now we're going to change that same contact record. We'll change two values, the first name back to rows and the email to rows test. Let's try it out by going schedule and publish. Once our blue circle has gone, the page should be processed. There it is. So I go back onto my CRM page and I'll press F5. And hopefully we'll now see that Cam is now back to Rose. It is back in details and the email address has changed to Rose test, Rose test. So as you can see, the update single Salesforce object function in Amscript is beautifully easy to use. And it's an absolute must know function for any developer working in a connected Salesforce Marketing Cloud instance. You'll find this function is used a lot on things like preference pages, as when your subscribers change their preferences or their details, you'll be using functions just like this to update their CRM records. And I hope you enjoyed this quick intro to the update single Salesforce object function in Amscript. If you have, then let me know in the comments below and make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.